only in Japan. For bonsai trees, there's no better place than Omiya in Saitama Prefecture. About 45 minutes away from Tokyo near Toro Station is a museum and bonsai village, a center for bonsai for almost 100 years. The open air museum is an easy stroll around a centuries old bonsai tree collection. Inside, there are history lessons in English and special rooms to see bonsai in Japanese home environments. In Japan, the connection between man and nature is very strong. Welcome to the Omiya Bonsai Art Museum. This is a place where you can learn about the history of bonsai. There's a beautiful one behind me. I wanted to come here to find out what makes a bonsai tree so beautiful. What are some of the characteristics that Japanese see in these trees that maybe we should know when we see one? It's not the perfect day to go and see them, but we're here for the biggest collaboration in YouTube history, hashtag Team Trees. 20 million trees around the world, and we here in Japan, we love our trees. We're gonna support that. That's a great thing, a great cause, and stay tuned to the end of this video to learn how you can do that. Toto Station welcomes you to Bonsai Town, Japan, an area inside Omiya. Even in the rain, it's really beautiful to walk around this uh, art museum. I mean, trees need rain, right? The rain can bring out the green color a little more in the trees. Darken the trunks, see a different side of them. Bonsai is literally translated as tray planting. The sizes vary from very small to well over a meter in height. I learned that getting down and looking up at the bonsai trees gives you a grand view of it. Although miniature in size, they look much bigger from this angle. I asked Takanari-san from the Omiya Bonsai Art Museum about what makes these trees special. Bonsai なのであの、I had come during a typhoon, but that didn't stop me from searching for that 1,000 year old bonsai tree. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. This one bonsai tree is estimated to be about a thousand years old. Imagine, it was alive during the Byzantine Empire, high middle ages, before the Crusades, when the tale of Genji was written. The trunk is split in the middle, the dead wood cascading out. Still looks strong and lively. But how can a bonsai live in a pot for a thousand years? Mm -hmm. I know, 自然から、あの、取ってきて鉢に植えてるので、あの、鉢に入って 1000 Bonsai are more than just evergreens. This Japanese maple called Momiji is 150 years old. The trunk beautifully groomed, surrounded by moss. This bonsai is growing out of a rock. This one looks small, but if you look a little closer, it also resembles a giant ancient forest.
Here's a 120-year-old Japanese mountain maple. When you look at it from below, the miniature shape of the trunk and branches are symmetrically pleasing to the eye. This one is 350 years old and called the Blue Dragon. It's leaning far to the side, getting bigger at the end, like the head of a dragon. What do you think? This 60-year-old white pine is growing out of a rock on a wooden tray. This 40-year-old miniature Chinese crabapple tree makes a colorful bonsai. The shape, size, style, and color of the leaves and pot, and the setting that it sits in all leave an impression on the beholder. Bonsai are small but powerful. Sixty-six percent of Japan's lands are covered with forests, but around the world it's thirty percent and decreasing. Many YouTube creators, including me, are pushing hard to plant more trees, 20 million more. And with your help, we can do it or donate to a team tree charity like Arbor Day Foundation, where every dollar plants a tree. More information on this in the video description. Trees are really important. You can see there's a big connection between trees and Japanese culture. The bonsai tree is that connection between man and the natural world, and it's pretty cool. And I'm really proud to be part of this collaboration, Team Trees. Take a look at the link in the description to see what you can do to help plant 20 million trees around the world. Even if it's a bonsai tree, because bonsai trees are still trees. <laughs>